Hey guys, welcome back. I am Golden Eye, and today I'm going to be playing three scary games. So, uh, the first game is Affection. I found this in itch.io. Under the horror section, it says, uh, you awaken to a pale room. Hmm. This is arrow up here. Where am I? Who am I? Why is it showing an arrow up here? Oh, inventory. Holy crap. Okay, I didn't think there'd be inventory in a game like this. So we have walking, looking, handsing, talking, storage, I guess, and save game, open options. Oh, what we got in the options here? Restart, quit, load, save, resume, data. I think we're supposed to try to like leave this room or something. I don't see anything else. It looks like everything's working just fine. So whatever. And then we can shut down there. Cool. So how does this work? Open sesame. No good, huh? All right, so we have to look around. Um, pillow. So we can lift up the pillow. There's a key here. I don't think there's anything else in here. So it will walk by itself. You don't really have to walk. Oh, wait. Open sesame is not going to work. But, so this is how this works. Do we? Yes. I've unlocked the door. I guess it just explode. Ah. You scared me there. Who are you? Where are we? I'm going to ask who you are. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? You're really lanky. I'm not sure. Huh? I can't seem to remember anything right now. Sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, no, my bad. My name's Emmy. It's Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Where are we? Not sure. I woke up in a room just like the one you came out of. Hmm. I've tried the other room, but it seems to, as though we're all locked from the inside. So we have to leave. What? I repeat myself? Hi. Hello? Alright, goodbye. Uh, I'm going to take a look around. Let's go walk. Okay, so it automatically switched to the feet. Now it looks like we can go down here. What's down here? Oh. Right, let's go ahead and get the hand out. Holy shit! Oh my! Caught me in my inopportune time. What happened here? Look like he killed someone. I assure you it's nothing unsavory. I awoke with my arm broken. I was bleeding and in a panic I made a mess. That's interesting. However, I've been able to patch myself up, you see. Okay. Where are we, by the way? I, I, I'm not sure. I just woke up in the room myself. Okay. I, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to check around myself. It's actually going through those screens by itself. Um, so yeah. Alright, you can't lift that pillow, huh? Sheets! I can lift the sheets, though. I could grab a portion of it. You grabbed a piece of cloth. Alright, the nice thing is when you hover over... Ooh, bloodstains. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that either. So when you hover over it, ceiling damage, it's too high up. So we need a ladder to get up there, clearly. What did the eyeball do? There's blood splatter all over this place. So when you hover over something that's usable, oh, I can talk to someone too. Yeah, when you hover over something that's usable, uh, it just tells you. So can I clean this up? Clean this up. Throw that up there. Okay, that's not working. All right, let's go here. I wish the foot worked with this, but we have to switch to the hand just to leave. All right, so we found a blood stain thingy. Uh, I should go back to the other room and do that. Ooh, this one. What? All right, hold on. Markings. I don't want to touch it. Okay, fine. Use the rag. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. There's nothing else in here. All right, we'll have to come back here. Just remember this one. All right, let's go here. Kind of wish it was a... I thought... Yeah, WASD does not walk. It's locked. But it sounds like someone's inside. Maybe I can call out to them. Oh, talking. Knock, knock. Anyone there? You heard shuffling inside. Okay. Huh? Hold on, there's a key here. You hear a click and you enter the room. Okay, that worked out. So it's kind of like teaching us how to play the game. Shane, what's up, Shane? Who are you? Name Shane, my dude. How about you? I can't remember. Amnesia, I think. That's your name. Amnesia. Wow, bummer. Where are we? I don't know. Come to think of it, last thing I remember is being on a bus. And then... Huh, can't seem to remember. There's no sound in this, so my headset actually turned off. Okay, goodbye. 
Uh, let's go ahead and see ya. Uh, let's go ahead and look around. Okay, feel this guy up. What's up, Shane? I'm not going to pick a fight. Can I can I use the cloth on him? No. Strangle him in cloth. All right, let's go ahead and walk back down here. And then down here. Whoa. There really is no way out, is there? Huh. Oh, yes. The stranger. We've been talking. There's a common link between all of us. I'm the only one who doesn't remember my name. Uh, all of us, when passengers on the same bus, when, right like, right, like I was on the bus and like a huge light came out of somewhere. Right. Yes. We had all experienced that before waking up here. Hmm. Were you there? Do you remember anything like that? I don't remember anything. I've got amnesia. I'm sorry. I don't. As I suspect, if I saw someone as ridiculously dressed as you, I'd remember. Whatever you say. Why is your arm missing, though? That's still weird. Uh, you look as though you came straight out of the 50s. Are you sure? You remember nothing? Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, Emma's room markings. I really do remember nothing. Finished dialogue. Okay. We'll say... No, doctor. Emma's room marking. Emma's room markings. I mean, your room had some ominous markings on the wall. Yes, it was there when I woke up. It looked like blood. Well, it wasn't mine. What are you trying to insinuate? Okay, uh, what about Doc's room? Doc's room. Doc, your room was unlocked when I opened it. It's interesting. So what? Everyone else's was locked until unlocked from the inside. This proves nothing. Whoa. Okay, I guess that's it. Well, I really had nothing else to remember, honest. That's basically it. Now listen here. Enough. We can't figure out anything going at each other's throats. Let's discuss this tomorrow when everyone is calm and has had some rest, okay? I don't like that. She's going to kill us. Evil. Fine. Sounds good to me. You heard a faint noise coming from outside your room. Okay. To the doorway then. Hello. Wait, hold on. I changed my mind. Okay, never mind. It huts. It huts. Ah, that sounds like Emmy. Oh, what's going on with you? Can I open up any of these doors? Here, we're going to check it out. No. 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 We're supposed to just follow the blood. Oh, help me. Oh my god, she's losing a lot of blood. I think she may have been passed out by now. Holy shit. What's wrong? She killed everyone. Snap out of it. Emmy? Uh. Oh, that was a bad dream. Okay. Is anything under my pillow again? Nothing else here. Okay. To the outside. Okay, let's uh, check in on some people. What the hell? The person's gone. Wait, all the shit's gone. Well, that's weird. Oh, hey, dude. I'm not going to pick a fight. Let me talk to him. Emmy's gone. Have you seen Emmy? Uh, nah, haven't seen her since yesterday. <sighs> what are you doing? We're trying to get out from the place from broken ceiling panel. Okay, right up there. Cool. Uh, any luck? Nah, it's too high. We can stay on each other's shoulders. Goodbye. I'm done with you. So, wait. What the hell? Can't touch the blood stain. Wait, where's the doctor? I mean, his room is locked. I think I can see something shining underneath her door, though. You swipe the cloth under the door, and a key comes out with it. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that worked out. And I hope this is the key we need. I've unlocked the door. Oh shit, she's been beheaded. Emmy, somebody help! Oh shit. Uh, it didn't take long before the others came. We're all in shock. Emmy's head was torn clean off her head. Her head nailed to the adjacent wall. We're clean off her body. No one even uh, argued, 
Each of us simply returned to our rooms, hoping we would not be next. Oh shit, another weird ass dream. Oh, uh, that's not her. Is that you? God, this guy's ballsy. Oh my god. Come closer. That doesn't seem right. Oh! Oh god, what the? What the fuck is that thing? Sammy, my love. Do you like it? Monster! <laughs> Sigh, I thought they'd like this one. Tisk, tisk, tisk. So picky. Oh well, time to start from scratch. Sammy, I'm nothing if I'm not patient. We have all the time in the world, after all. I'll have to collect another batch of humans. What? Away! Let's get rid of that pesky memory now. Thanks for playing. Okay, that was messed up. What the fuck? Okay. So, I don't know if there's a way to beat that. I don't know what that stupid thing on the wall... Was that where you're supposed to pin the head? I have freaking no idea. Okay. Well... I thought the story, obviously it's an indie horror, so it's going to be, you know, kind of lacking. I thought the story was pretty good. I, I wish it had sound. Something in the background, because my, like, my headset actually thought that there was no sound, so it turned itself off. Which is kind of funny. But we're going to go on to the next game now. Ah, we recommend using headphones. I got headphones on. A uh, game by Nordic Journeymaker. So, this is, uh, what's it called? ER. Use arrows to move. So basically this game's supposed to scare you in under like 10 minutes or something like that. Okay. I don't think it's working. I'm, I'm using... Oh, arrows to move. Oh, I'm an idiot. Sorry. I'm used to WASD. Why is he missing his arms? You see that? The ER. Yeah. So I got this one from itch.io as well. Um, it didn't say anything else. I, I can't... How am I going to use doors? Without arms. Okay, here's the map. There's exits everywhere. It's promising. All the doors leading to emergency exits are now open. Have a nice day. Oh, that's nice. This dude wakes up in the ER. There's nothing going on. There's blood on that bed. Why doesn't he have arms? And why is he walking like a zombie? All right, here's the exit. Uh, of course, it's a lie. All right, we'll try going in some of these rooms. What's that noise? You hear that? There's like a blobby thing I hear. Okay, I don't really want to go back in this room with that stupid thing that was on the wall. Okay, that door is empty. Uh. Ho, 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 ho! Is this a gun? Oh! Is this a gun? Doesn't matter, I don't have arms. I guess we're going in here. Why? Why would we go in here? The fuck is that? It's like human remains. Oh! Oh! It's kind of squishy. Oh, it's following me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Alright, come on over here, you weird freaky thing. So we want to go in that hole, obviously. Could be the death of us, but we're going to do it. Hello. I'm in the room. What is in here? It's broken glass. Help me. Oh. Dude, I need your arms. I really can't help you. Help. Okay, he died. Ah, oh, that's too bad. So that thing looked like mutated people. I don't know what that was all about. Oh, that's how you got around that. Okay. Betcha his eggs is not going to work. Ah, oh, fuck me. F 
fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Back into the wall we go. I'm going to shit my pants. Is that thing gonna be in the way? Oh, it's gone. Oh, fucking power outage. What is that? Norm ball? Oh! I don't know why I called it an arm ball. Apparently I forget what things actually are anymore. Fuck you, I'm out of here. Dude, I'm missing my arms. I still don't understand this. How do you make open doors with my feet? Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, what, well there was something in there apparently, and now it's free. Okay, here's the dead guy. Okay, that was the guy that was in that room. Oh! oh my god! I can't go any faster. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that thing is ugly. To the exit! Oh, I'm so close! Did I make it? Hey, I did it. Idea and design graphic, Maria R. Christensen. That was pretty good. Very ominous. I, I hope that's it. I hope it's not a trick. So the game did scare me. Uh, the right, you need the headphones because they really build on the background, which was awesome. But just like building the suspense, you saw that stupid little thing. That was pretty good. I really liked it. That scared the crap out of me. That thing was ugly as shit. Um, so we don't need to play again. What's the fucking knocking? What? Hold on, I want to go back in here really quick. Wait, what? Oh, the... What? Was the game not done? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, he's ugly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess you can't escape the ER. That was weird. What the fuck? What? What? Can you play again? Did I die for real? Or is that the end of the game? Hold on, let me, I'm gonna check this out. Give me a second. Okay, um, there's nothing else you can really do here. Uh, I guess you're just supposed to die. So that was it. Okay, well, the game was actually pretty good, but I don't like the fact that I guess it's not beaten. I, I have no idea what's going on here. Maybe there's a way to beat it? But I don't know exactly how. But yeah, so that's another game I got from itch.io under the horror section. So we're going to go to the last game now. So this game that we're bringing up is Last Night at Home. So uh, this game, let's check the actual settings, make sure everything's cool. Everything looks good. So uh, in this one, apparently someone's trying to break into the house and we got to repair holes or something. I don't know, something like that. So we're going to check out the intro. They actually have an intro for this, which is nice. Uh, 7 Lewis Michael Street, Paris, France, apartment 23. That's why you don't go to France. Uh, it was not a nice place to live. The rent was too high, the heater was working as often as not, and the landlord was a jerk. I spent three years of my life here before the incident. At the time, I lived with Sophie. We had our own habit. She mostly stayed on her computer while I was taking care of my plants. She was unemployed while I was a student. It was a good life nonetheless. Until it happened. July 7th, 2016. Sophie was taking vacation abroad. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is really good. There's a hole in your room. 
Block the holes with furniture. What is this? Call police. Well, this is an intro, I don't know why it's called Mercy line only. Any abuse will be punished. What? Mercy services, hello? I need help, someone's trying to break into my house. The neighbors are acting weird. I'm hearing strange noises. Can you send someone? There we go. We're gonna go that way. Where do you live? Okay, whatever. I'm sending a patrol, stay safe, and keep your phone close. Well, the door opened, and the hole disappeared, apparently. Okay, it's just showing us what to do. Well, that's a creepy pic. Wait for the police. Block the holes with furniture. Turn on the circuit breaker. Fuck. What the fuck? Fuck you. So each time there's a slamming noise, something... is trying to break in. What the hell? I can't block that! Game is creepy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo! Oh! I thought the light would drive it away. This is how I died. <laughs> this is no place I can call home these things. Unless it's the inside of my coffin. Oh my god, you dicks. Okay, I don't think you can beat the game. I think it goes too quick, but whatever. Alright, that one got me. I thought if I turned on the circuit breaker, it would save my life. I was wrong. Clearly wrong. So that was, again, last night at home. I got that at itch.io as well. Under the horror section. I will put all three games in the description below if you want to try them yourself. Oh, this is very good background. Look at this. It's actually a face. See that? It's a silhouette of a guy. Oh, I like that. No, this is very good. <laughs> the stupid turning off the lights just scares me so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I knew you have one of these more. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, huzzah!